Hello everyone, this is Rich once again and I'm going to show you how to do a basic hard drive installation using a standard IDE 40 pin based port which is what most people have. Here I have, this is an older hard drive, it's a Western Digital Caviar however, um, and yes this is a really old hard drive but the interface is basically the same. Now this is standard IDE this is a 40 pin interface and you'll also notice that at the top there there's a little space over here the, those big four pins you see that is where the power plugs in that's what powers the hard drive because it will not power itself that's from your motherboard that's how you plug that in and this right here that white thing you see that's a jumper and on what happens is that you'll notice that right there you see these settings right here these are jumper settings they're standard and the special ones ordinarily on most newer motherboards you want to set this to uh, cable select if you set it to cable select that means wherever it is on the IDE cable and I'll show you that in a second that's uh, it will automatically assign itself as a master or a slave now whenever you hook one of these drives up to one of these cables and this is a standard IDE cable here there's usually a blue side and there's also a black side now you notice on here you see right on top there that's the spot so that when you plug it in you remember I showed you that little space that uh, is there on the port of the hard drive this is so you basically can't get it wrong it only plugs in one way the blue side usually goes to the motherboard and the black side goes to the hard drive it does not matter whether you put in the black side or the blue side but just for consistency purposes turn this around Oops, it up against here just for consistency purposes you should put the black side into the drive now notice see the little spacer here and then we have there's where the pins are and we're gonna plug this sucker in Let's see if I can get that yep there we go and voila we have our cable plugged in. Now you'll notice that this actually has this is a three junction cable. This right here is if you wanted to attach a optical drive like a CD-ROM or another hard drive so you can actually on a three junction cable this is a junction one, junction two, and junction three which is in the drive you can actually hook up multiple IDE devices here and if you have each one set to cable select this means it will automatically uh, choose which one is the master and which one's the slave for whatever if it, let's just say for example you're going to put in a CD-ROM drive you want to have the whatever is the slave device on the end like this this is always a slave this is always the master you would think it would be in reverse but that's not the case here so if you're going to do a master and slave setup you want to have the hard drive boot first and you want the uh, CD-ROM second what you do is that the hard drive would actually go here and the optical drive the CD-ROM would go here okay we are now looking inside a computer case get a quick look around here now down here all this down here that's the motherboard there's PCI slots here uh, sometimes they're colored yellow but in this one this is a custom board so they're actually colored purple and uh, right here this is our video card and over here we have our big beefy power supply all these colored cables here these are all power cables uh, there's one here this one goes that's how the motherboard is powered which comes from here but the one we want to pay attention to now remember I showed you the IDE cable this is an IDE cable right here I'm going to try to get these out of the way so I can show you down in here see right there let me zoom in on that there's an IDE port and if you look right above right under this cable you can see a little bit of the blue and there she is she's plugged in well this system actually has two hard drives in it but if you notice there's screws that are holding in this is the hard drive right here <clears throat> remember that big four pin thing I showed you that's where this goes right here it's got four holes and then behind that see where this plugs in here put it right in there 
plug that back in. Now, uh, on most motherboards like this one, you actually have two IDE ports. Uh, they're labeled usually one and two, IDE one and IDE two. If you're going to hook up a hard drive and you're going to have this hard drive actually house the operating system, you always want to plug that into IDE number one. Thereby, when you do this, the BIOS recognizes that that is the first drive in the system and therefore will try to boot from it. Now, over here, we actually have a couple of optical drives here. This is there's a CD and a DVD right here that goes in, in the front like that. But there's an example here of what you can do with a master and slave setup. Now, you notice we have one IDE plugged in here. And we have another plugged in here. See how this is actually all the same cable. See how they are connected to? Now, this one, because it's in the middle of the cable, this is the master, and this one up top is the slave. So what happens is that uh, IDE cables can connect to any IDE device, whether they are actual hard drives or optical drives. Now, because of this setup, if we're going to boot from CD-ROM, for example, it will always hit this one first and then this one second. So because we have the middle of the cable, both these drives are set to cable select. So what happens is that when this computer boots, if you had a CD-ROM drive, uh, excuse me, you had a CD, say if it was in this one and there was no disk in this one, it would actually try this one first and then go to this one. However, if you had a bootable CD in this, then as soon as you turn it on, once it finds this, even if you had another bootable CD in this one, it would always go to this one first. And that is a basic how-to of how this all is put together.